I'll never be outdone, I'll never be outworked. I'm so bad I can make your money twerk. I was put on this earth to be great. I can bat from both sides of the plate. In one sitting I can eat eight pounds of steak. With my left or with my right, I will throw a perfect spiral. This video I'm about to shoot is gonna go viral. You suckers can't match my style. This is Mark Bellum, Super Training Gym. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. We have another power project for you today. The thousands and thousands of videos that we have done over the years. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're tuning in. Make sure your notifications are on. Make sure you like the video. And make sure you do all that other bullshit. How much you bench.net backslash media is where we're dumping a lot of this footage first. That's where you can see it first. If you want to be part of it and you want to see it before everybody else does, so you don't have your friends telling you about it and you feel left out and you got FOMO going on, then check it out at how much you bench.net backslash media. Check it out there first. All right, we got a matter to get to today. I hear too many people talking about this too often, and it's very cool and it's a very nice thing, and it's a very a very cliche thing to be talking about right now and I myself have talked in these terms more than once and uh, so you guys caught me I've had a couple cups of coffee today and that's why I'm going bonkers <laughs> and that's why that's why I got this message today here's what I got to say my friends not everybody has what it takes and I may be talking to you. I think many people are being sold a lie through a lot of the different forms of social media. And I'm gonna tell you why. Not everybody has the guts, not everybody has the time commitment, and not everybody can be a next level son of a bitch. It's just the way that it plays out. It's just the way that it goes. I know it's a very popular thing right now to say, follow your passion, follow your passion, follow your passion, follow your passion. It's kind of all you hear and people keep talking about being humble too. Follow your passion, be humble. First of all, <laughs> who the fuck cares about following people that are humble? Uh, great leaders and great people that we've followed over the years are not normally humble. Normally they're fucking savages. So that's that part of that. But my main thing that I'm focused in on today, the main thing I'm honing in on today, you guys heard me say this before and I say it many times, I say it over and over again, embrace your fears and follow through with your dreams. Now the reason why I say that and the reason why it's different than to tell you to just go follow your passion is because <clears throat> you are going to have to embrace the shit that you're scared of. The reason why you're not doing the stuff that you, that you were supposed to do today and the stuff that you were supposed to do yesterday and the day before is because you are a coward. Cowards talk about what they will never do and I understand life. I understand that life happens and I understand circumstances and I can I'm I can understand people in different predicaments. That's the way things go in life. We're not all in the same boat all the time. And so I'm not I'm not uh, trying to be a cold-hearted son of a bitch, but what I'm telling you is that if somebody has to tell you to follow your passion or if somebody has to tell you, that, "Hey man, why don't you think about like three things that you might be passionate about and then start working through those things?" It's too late, my friend. Life does not work that way. If somebody would have came to me and said, "Hey, you know what, bro? You tore your pack three times now." Why don't you maybe think of something, why don't you maybe think of something that you can make that's like an invention and it's kind of stretchy and you kind of sort of put it on your arms and it maybe helps you and you have a patent on it and you sue motherfuckers that are trying to steal your shit. You fuckers know who I know who I'm talking about. Some of you guys may have gotten a letter from my attorneys. You know what's up. Anyway, that's supposed to be a private matter, but I guess not. Because it gets me pissed off and gets me fired up when people try to steal my shit. Anyway, the slingshot would have never happened if that's the way that it had to happen. I wouldn't have thought of it that way. 
I had to think of it on my own and I had to overcome adversity. I had to overcome my own injuries and I had to overcome my own fears. Embrace your fears and follow through with your dreams. Most of you that are listening to this message right now, sitting at your computer or you're on your fucking phone, listen to me right now. You don't have what it takes because you're not doing the stuff that you're supposed to be doing. How do I know? Because I have been in your position before and I've had shitty cars blow up on me from uh, all from all over from driving all over the fucking place, even driving to the gym when I had no money. All different kinds of shitty things. I've been in shitty spots just like all of you. Used to drive around the biggest piece of shit minivan. Uh, the door barely worked. The horn would occasionally go off on its own. And at that time in my life, I was trying to do the best I can. I had two kids and a wifey, and I was trying to do the best I could, but I wasn't doing the shit that I'm supposed to be doing to get me to where I want to go. Goals without a plan is just a wish. If you have some goals, if you have some dreams, then they are going to stay goals and dreams unless you have a plan. Make a plan today. Start making a plan right now. You know what I'm talking about. Cowards, you're being a coward. Cowards talk about what they will never do. And you're gonna be the same coward you were yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and the day before that. This message is harsh and this message is a little row by the old railroad tracks here in Davis, California because it has to be. I'm telling you right now, you're being sold a lie. If somebody's just telling you to follow your passion, you are probably going to make a mistake. If you only did what you were passionate about, it probably wouldn't be a good business plan. You're gonna need a really good plan and you're gonna, be really, you're gonna need to be really fucking driven to get to where you wanna go. You're gonna have to set some goals and for every goal that you set, you're gonna have to have a plan for it. And while you're trying to act out those plans, you're going to have to, with each and every decision that you make, because time is precious and time is money, with each and every decision that you make, you're going to have to ask yourself the question, how is this going to help me towards my goal? Now you don't have to be an uptight son of a bitch and you, you, it doesn't mean that you can't have any fun, but if your goal is to be jacked and tan, and you want to drink or your goal is to be jacked and tan I know you guys are saying hey you drink here and there of course I do because sometimes you need to just relax right you can't always be a full bore motherfucker that's not the way the world works you need a little bit you need to at least try to have some sort of balance of some kind <clears throat> but if you're not doing the things that you're supposed to be doing how are you ever supposed to get to your goals the life of the rich and the life of the successful is not for everybody but it can be it can be and not for everybody I'm gonna say not for everybody because I don't want to sell you the same lie everybody else is selling you it can be for more of you there's 11 million millionaires in the United States could there be 12 million could there be 11 million and one there could be 11 million and one could there be a surge of millionaires in the United States could there be 15 could there be 20? Could there be 30? You know, the per percentage of millionaires is probably never going to be the large percent, largest percentage of the population. <clears throat> and why is that? It's because you have to be able to match your income with your own personal abilities. And you're gonna have to keep learning and you're gonna have to keep working hard and there's gonna be, I don't like the word sacrifice because I think it's like too harsh of a word, but there's going to be times in your life that you're going to miss out on a lot of great things. If you're talking about how you wanna be a millionaire, if you're talking about how you wanna be successful, and we'll talk about successful in a second because that's a whole nother thing. If you're talking about how you wanna be wealthy and these different things, and you're not doing the things that you need to get towards those achievements, it is just never going to happen, plain and simple. Now, you also have to define 
what rich means to you if that is a goal of yours not everyone's goal and then you also have to define um, what what happiness or what success means to you because success and happiness don't coincide and neither does wealth there's not the synergistic balance of hey I made 500k you know there's there's not a synergistic balance there's not a trophy that you get and there's some sort of end game it's it's not a, it's not an end to anything if anything it's the start of some misery <laughs> um, my days are I don't even want to use the word stressful because that's a weird term because it's applied stress by myself much like my exercise is right um, but they're not always easy and they're not for everybody I have long hours and long days and I spend a lot of time with a lot of different people and I spread myself as thin as I possibly can it's it's just it's it's just the way things go but what I'm telling you guys is I think a lot of you are misinterpreting a lot of these things and I think a lot of you think it's easy I think a lot of you think you can sit back and just do something online maybe have an invention like your boy smelly or maybe just do some like online coaching or online training but <clears throat> you're not going to be very successful just doing that you can be very successful doing that if you focus and you start to build vertically and you outwork your competition you execute execution makes legends when you can execute there's so even just thinking of this analogy just popped in my head from high school football my football coach told me hey we're not worried about this this team's running back because he's four yards in a cloud of dust and it's not a big deal he, he's not explosive he's not gonna get to the outside he's probably not gonna score we're not worried about him we want to take away the deep threat because this team doesn't have a consistent balance that can get them to do an 80 yard drive successfully and to put points on an, up on the scoreboard so what he said is if we can take away their deep threat they will mess up every single time and this team that scores 41 42 43 points a game is going to score zero they're going to get a goose egg and the defense that we had that year was it was a great defense but we did exactly what coach said we took away a few of their deep threats and every single time they tried to march down the field they would mess up they would have somebody would jump off sides uh, somebody would drop a pass and it would deflect and end up in uh, one of our hands we'd end up with an interception somebody would fumble uh, they'd go to do a certain trick play and they would drop the ball and fumble or some crazy shit would happen it has to do with execution people can't execute luckily for me in this space in the powerlifting world um, it, <laughs> if, if I can just execute all the time properly on what I'm what I have to do I don't have to worry about these other companies other brands I can focus in and hone in on what I'm doing and I can continue to build the company vertically now at some point you might want to expand out that's kind of a different topic for another day but if you can continue to execute if you want to be an online coach if that's something that you want to do and that's something you want to really stick with and that's something you're excited about then you're gonna to have to do it really well and you're gonna to have to start doing it better than others a story I, sh I shared when I was with Dave Tate recent interview I did on this channel at EliteFTS.com you can check it out on this YouTube channel um, <clears throat> the interview I did with Dave Tate I shared an old message with him uh, that I learned from pro wrestling pro wrestling there's only certain styles only certain ways that you can tell a story there's a good guy there's a bad guy and there's only so many different body parts you can work and only so many different ways you can tell a story inside the ring now granted the longer you do it the more you realize there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing it but when you're green the way I was you kind of only stick to certain things but what you recognize is if the person before me goes ahead and works the arm by the way in wrestling they always work the left arm gave you all the secrets <clears throat> that's so they know which arm they're working they don't forget um, but if if the guy before me is working the arm and working the shoulder he rams the guy in the post he tw tweaks the arm a bunch drops an elbow on the guy's arm 
uh, wrenches the guy's arms and the ropes and all these different things. If I see that and panic and change what I'm doing, it's actually a mistake. The right thing to do is, is to show people there's a better way. And when you do it a better way and when you execute better, your execution becomes the executioner and you kill off whatever the fuck the person did before you because nobody will remember what that guy did because he sucked at it. When you can execute and when you can make yourself better at something, you're going to stand out. You guys have to have the guts. You have to be able to embrace your fears and follow through with your dreams. It's not an easy thing to do. Those thoughts and ideas, those inventions and those intentions that you have every single night, they flee from your brain every single morning when you think about, oh, I got to get my oil changed. Oh, I got to go talk to my friend. <sighs> Maybe I'll train. Oh, I don't know. Should I have a cup of coffee? Should I eat breakfast? Should I not eat breakfast? Should I go do some cardio? Do some fasted cardio? Should I eat carbs today? Should I eat carbs today? What should I do? Should I have, how much protein should I have? How much fat? Blah, 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 blah. You're already fucking up and you're already way behind. Set your plans the day before. Write your shit out before you ever do it. Fuck tracking stuff. Why not predict your own future? Why not write out what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do the next day? Why not write out the foods you're going to eat the next day? Why not plan them ahead? Why not have a few of them cooked up? Why not have some of the, some of the clothes you're going to wear laid out the next day? So you don't have to <laughs> wing every day of your life. Trust me, I'm the, I'm the ultimate when it comes to that. But I've learned to be, I've learned to be really good at it. I feel like at this moment I'm, I'm a professional at it. But if you're so wishy-washy on every little turn of every little day then you're not going to be able to put the time you need into the overall goal and the overall dream that you have. And that overall goal and that overall dream needs a lot of attention. And that's why I started off this video by telling you that you can't do it. Because you need to be hurt. You need to know that you can't do it. You need to know that you suck. I'm lending out opportunities all the time here at Super Training and here at Slingshot. We have an opportunity right now to have some social media monsters on our side. And a couple people have stepped up to the plate and some other people have fallen off to the wayside. Uh, one guy in particular, I was emailing him back and forth, seems like a great kid. Uh, sent me a really, really high produced, high quality video. Some great editing, some great music. The guy totally gets it. He's very, very talented. And he just started asking too many questions. I said, hey man, you're either in or you're in the way. He wanted to know the logistics. He wanted to know how much he's getting paid. It's like, first of all, we don't even know if you have a job. Secondly, I don't even know what that job's going to be because I don't know what your strength is. I'm going to have to see how you work with my crew. I'm going to see how you're going to have to uh, flow with everybody. It's a leap of faith, my friends. You're going to have to take a leap. I'm going to have to take a leap. And we're going to have to do it together. That's life. That's the way all this shit goes. You fucking jump and you grow wings on the way down. Jump off a building and grow wings on the way down. I think that was said by Les Brown. I'll make sure I'm giving him credit. But I like that quote. What a savage quote. Again, you do need to plan ahead. You do need to be able to fly by the seat of your pants. You do need to grow wings on the way down. You need to be able to do it all. Because you're going to have to learn on the job. That's the way I've done this always. You're going to have to learn on the job. I can't wait. I can't wait to shoot the next video. I'm going to talk about the next power project. I'm going to talk about ROI. <laughs> I love hearing people say it. I love hearing people talk about it. I, I really get excited hearing people talk about uh, a word they just learned, you know, two weeks ago. And then all of a sudden they start trying to mumble off like they're an expert on it. I'm not an expert on any of that stuff. I don't use words like that. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in talking about a brand. I don't have a fucking brand. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in talking about shit like that. I think... Look, if I just keep pushing it out, then you guys are going to interpret it whatever fucking way you want. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to sit here and have giant logos all over the place. <laughs> I don't have to sit here and bash you all the time with what I am and what I do. 
although you see quite a bit of it on social media because that's part of being an entrepreneur that's part of just getting your shit out there and get your name out there that's the way you do it but I hear people talking about their brand it's like dude you've been in business for three years you don't have a brand yet I don't have a brand yet. Slingshot hasn't been around for 10 years. That's a, that's a minimum. That's my minimum requirement. You want to be a brand, you got to do it for 10 years. You want to be good at anything, you got to do it for a decade. I know you're watching this video and you feel hopeless because I told you you can't do it and I told you that shit takes 10 years. <laughs> but it does. It takes a long time. If you want to be good at something, it's easy. Look around you. What people portray on Instagram, what people portray on social media is that it seems like everybody's pretty good at something, right? Uh, but when you find out the truth, you find out that those people aren't doing all that well at all. Greatness is a made up thing in our heads and it means something different to each person. Find out what it means to you. Find out what success means to you. Define those things. What's success to you? Maybe you just want to find someone that you can fall in love with. And maybe you just want to find somebody that you can share some great times with and not have to be burdened by financial uh, problems. And so you just want to make enough money to uh, go to the river a couple times uh, a year, a couple times a month or whatever it might be. Maybe you just want to go on a few vacations a year and, and you want to be able to you know, just have a job that affords that lifestyle. Define it for yourself. What does it mean to you? And stop allowing people to fucking lie to you. Stop allowing people to sell you on a lie that you can do it. Hopefully you can do it. But we all, we, we all don't have genius inside of us. We all have some stuff inside of us. We all have some stuff inside of us that may be better than the next person or you might be better at one thing over another person you might have some sort of strength but if you don't ever explore it you'll never be good with it you're gonna fucking die with it whatever those things are you're gonna die with it you're gonna die with your hopes and your dreams and your inventions they're gonna be buried along with you right in the graveyard it's me graveyard of tombstones and your fucking ideas that you never followed through with That's all I gotta say. Embrace your fears, follow through with your dreams. Strength is never a weakness. I'm out.